Who knows if they just won't spawn yet? Anything? What? What's this? Did you get the Go Fest shirts? Good afternoon, Pokemon community. You can call me Trainer Zed, and we are here. It is finally here. Pokemon Community Day 2020 Global Edition. We just restarted the app. It just turned 10. We were lucky enough to find a Gibble Raid on the nearby, so we just immediately drove over. A new challenge is starting. Oh my goodness. It's raining confetti. Open up. No, why is it frozen? All right, well, while that's frozen, we were lucky enough we just found a random Gibble Raid on the nearby. Uh, it spawned before GoFest even started. I'm kind of assuming that it's part of the GoFest raids. So we just decided to pull over and get started here with the Gibble, maybe start off with a shiny Gibble. And the app is very, very glitchy, but we're opening up the Gibble Raid. There is probably just so much code going on right now behind the scenes that's getting everything switched and changed, all the spawns changed. All right, Gibble, come on. Hop in, hop in. This would be an amazing start. Amazing start to go fest. All right, and while we're waiting for this to start 15 seconds, as you can see, I got managed to get myself the GoFest 2020 t-shirt. This is the official one from the Pokemon Center website. Um, they initially sold out very, very quickly and they restocked it and I managed to get all three of our sizes before they sold out once again within just a couple of hours. And here we go, Gibble is down. And this was kind of a, an impromptu start to our day. Um, I had an intro planned, more so where I was just gonna sit down and kind of talk about my goals and things, but Gibble here was one of my goals. So let's see if we can get it on the first Gibble raid of the day. Not shiny, not shiny. However, Gibble raid, very good start. Well, this was an unexpected turn right as I was getting into the car. Literally, just sat in the car, I clicked a Magmar, and it was shiny. Quite the start. The Gibble wasn't shiny. However, this Magmar, of course, was shiny. What? <laughs> Zach! All right, we are at the college now. I just incensed another Alolan Marowak. It was not shiny, sadly. However, ooh, I do see an unknown. And it's the O unknown, and I love this unknown. I'm so happy. He just looks like a little steering wheel. I'm a Golden Razim. I don't care. He may not be super rare, but I love him. Throw him in an Ultra Ball. Okay, there is so much going on right now. But let's talk about goals for this GoFest. And as far as shinies go, I really just have two. I really, really want shiny Voltorb. And I really, really want shiny Gibble. Shiny Gibble I want just because he's rare. Shiny Voltorb I want just because I love great balls. Uh, they are my favorite kind of Pokeball. So having a shiny Voltorb as a best buddy would just be like having a, a great ball best buddy, which I, I just, I think is hilarious and I love it. Okay, well, I think that's all the shiny checks in this small area. So let's talk to Professor Willow and get this special research started. Welcome to Pokemon Go Fest 2020, Trainer Zed. Go Fest this year is a little bit different from previous years, but it'll be just as fun and challenging. I've noticed an amazing phenomenon. It seems as though different Pokemon are appearing in the area on what seems an hourly basis. I need your help collecting data on the situation. I thought it would be fun to give you some tasks to help you research this phenomenon. I'll make sure you get a reward for your hard work. Don't delay. Since different Pokemon seem to be appearing each hour, you have a limited time to complete these tasks. You can see the trainer's progress by checking the Global Challenge Arena. 
to help with your research, be sure to use an inc incense to attract Pokemon. Remember, you can now activate several incense at once and have them attract Pokemon to you for hours. Incense smells amazing, doesn't it? I wish I knew. It brings a smile to my face knowing that millions of trainers around the world are working together right now because of their shared love of Pokemon. Furthermore, I've been sensing a great energy that has filled me with hope and determination. Have you been feeling it as well? I most certainly, most certainly have. I wonder whether it's connected to these strange happenings that kicked off our research this weekend. I have a feeling today is just the beginning of an exciting adventure. And it is. This is only day one. Day two, we don't really know much of what's gonna happen. We'll have another fun-filled day tomorrow. For now, I'm gonna start looking into this situation. Perhaps it is related to a powerful Pokemon. Now, Trainer Zed, I'm sure you know what I'm gonna say next. Let's go! Let's do this! All right, claim reward. I believe that was using incense. Take a snapshot of your buddy, catch 20 fire type Pokemon, 20 water, 20 grass, battle in two raids, make a new friend. Um, the only reason I'm closing out of it for a brief second is because I know more stuff has spawned and I want to shiny check them all. So the quest is pretty straightforward. Just catch 20 fire, water, grass, battle in two raids, make a new friend and we get a lot of encounters, so we'll have to see what kind of encounters it gives us. Now, something else interesting that I did to prepare for today was stack three tasks. And the reason that I did that was because the GoFest shiny rates are a lot higher than normal. So I went around and I found an Aaron task and two Voltorb tasks. And those are two shinies that I absolutely love. So if these tasks now have higher shiny rates, I may just get my shiny Voltorb right now. Let's go ahead and claim this should be Aaron. It's not shiny. Let's claim a Voltorb. Come on. Come on. Not shiny. Ooh, a Unown. Okay. Gotta catch the Unown. I think that's a G. I'm just gonna normal Raspberry it because we're most likely gonna see a lot of these guys. Uh, they will make for good trades, though. A lucky unknown would be pretty fantastic. And I would really, really like to get whatever it spells out. I'm kind of guessing that it's going to say global or global go fast. Whatever it says, catch through you unknown. I really want the full title. And the last Voltorb, not shiny, sadly. Hopefully the shiny rates are boosted for tasks. Uh, I think that's it for now, so I'm gonna be running around all day trying to catch as many shinies, as many Pokemon as I can, and hopefully we can get our shiny Voltorb and shiny Gibble. Shiny Alolan Marowak would also be really nice. Fire hour is now over, and I totally forgot to mention in my last clip that there are Charmanders, Squirtles, and most likely then Bulbasaurs during grass hour with the GoFest Pikachu visor. And right here we found a Squirtle with the visor. I didn't actually record me catching any of the Charizards, but I did catch maybe a dozen of them. No shinies. The only shiny I've gotten so far is the Magmar. I have gotten word that there is a new shiny. I have some uh, some idea of what it may be. And if we get one of those, that would be extremely exciting because new shinies are always something to hunt for with GoFest or any event. And another thing, this shirt here that was available on the Pokemon Center website is available for free in the style, in the Avatar Style Store. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and now our avatar matches our style today. I wish that I had that Gengar backpack. That would be pretty amazing. I'm sure I can find a Gengar backpack like that online. Probably wouldn't be too difficult. But let's get all suited up in our GoFest gear. There we go. Now our avatar is also ready for Pokemon GoFest 2020. All right, and it is water hour now. Hopefully we can get some cool water shinies. 
Something else uh, I noticed is that the confetti that's raining down from the sky, as you can probably see, there are some water droplet ones. And those have been changing with the hours, so hour one it was little fire confetti and now it's water confetti. Some of this information may seem super, super obvious because I'm sure a lot of you have read all of the announcements, seen people's Instagrams and things like that that are in the time zone where the events already passed. But I have stayed off Instagram, I've stayed off YouTube, I didn't want to know hardly anything about the GoFest before it started. So that's why I'm kind of coming into this blind and just seeing, thing as they, seeing things as they come. And look at this shiny Magikarp. I do have a fair, a good fair number of these. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head, I want to say it's 10 or 11. A, do, a, a, a pretty decent number. However, since that's not very exciting, I do have something else to say. Uh, we were just walking past another group of players. They were mentioning the shinies they got, and I overheard them, and one of them said, Shiny Heat More. And I said, What? You got a Shiny Heat More? And we went up and talked to him. And I said, Can I see it? Because I thought maybe he was thinking of Heat Ran from, you know, a while back when he was in raids. But no, he opens up his recent Pokemon, and he has for sure a Shiny Heat More. And the worst part about that. Well, the only bad part, I guess, is that I saw, saw probably 15 to 20 heat more during the fire hour, and I did not check, but maybe one of them, and I just caught it. So I very well may have missed a brand new shiny because I didn't even know he was there. So avoiding spoilers on Instagram and YouTube maybe wasn't the best idea. All right, you want to introduce this one? Zach got a new shiny I didn't know even existed, and I need it! And what is it? Shiny Quillfish. <laughs> I did, I got shiny Quillfish. So after the guy told us that Heatmore can now be shiny, we're just like, okay, we're checking everything. We're gonna check everything, see what else can be shiny. And like the sixth Quillfish that I checked after that was shiny. And he's pink and he looks very, very cool. It's very different. I love it. However, I wasn't the only one that got a shiny. What'd you get? Uh, I got a shiny uh, Squirtle with a hat. A shiny Squirtle with the little Pikachu hat. And I forgot to mention, this is my brother. His name is Nick. Hey, I YouTube. Yeah, I, I meant to say so in my intro, but we kind of just got started on the Gibble Raid, and from there it was just non-stop running around checking everything. Another cool fish? No. Okay, well that's very exciting. Bunch of new shinies, we don't even know what they are, so it's kind of fun to just click everything and then randomly get a brand new shiny. And moments after Quillfish number one, just moments later, shiny Quillfish number two. The first hour was very, very slow for shinies, it seemed like. Between all of us, we got maybe three, which seems very, very low. But now that we know that more things can be shiny and it's just random Pokemon, we might get more. It seems like they're coming a little bit quicker now. And just like Ghastly Community Day, we are making up the first crappy hour worth of shinies with a great second hour. We have shiny Chinchow. This is my first shiny Chinchow. Uh, Something to know about me is I really, really like green shinies. And Chinchow here has his lights that are typically yellow are now green. And personally, I'm a big fan of that. I think he looks really cool. I do like the drastic change shinies. However, some of these that, that are more subtle are just really, really, really nice. They're a little bit harder to spot when you're checking them and it just adds another little layer of challenge. On top of everything else, I have been told that there is a new Pokemon with the Snapshot. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just get our buddy out, this Galarian Meowth, which personally I, I really, really like. I know some people think he looks terrifying, but that's kind of why I like him. He looks like a little Viking pirate, and I think he's adorable. So we're just gonna Get Galaria and Meowth here, take a snapshot, and we'll see what this new Pokemon is. 
It's Rodham. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love Rodham. No way. Let's see the snapshot. Oh, and it's, it's Wash Rodham. Golden Raz, no doubt. Rodham is actually part of Gen 4, and they're adding Gen 5 Pokemon now, obviously Unova. So it's a little interesting that they've waited until now to add Rodham because they're already past his generation. But obviously, Rodham is just amazing. Let's check out that Dex, Wash Rodham, I love it. So anyway, it's interesting that they're adding him now because they're past his generation. But I will take it. I thought maybe they'd do a little bit more special of an event for him. Um, besides just a snapshot, I thought maybe it was going to be a Halloween related or something along those lines. But I will take it nonetheless because I love Rodham. Electric Pokemon are some of my favorite kinds of Pokemon. If I were a gym leader, I would be an electric gym leader. I just love electric type Pokemon and Rodham is no exception. So, as it turns out, this event is a little more neat for Rodham because the spawns change with each hour and Rodham has different forms. The last hour was Water Hour and Wash, wa wash Rodham is Water Rodham and now it is Grass Hour. So let's go ahead and do another snapshot. Maybe we'll get a different variant of Rodham. However, it looks like it's just another Wash Rodham. Interesting. It is. It's, it's just Wash Rodham again. However, I will still take Rodham because I absolutely love Rodham. And now let's keep clicking on Pokemon in this hour because we don't know what can be shiny new. What, what the new shiny is for this hour. What is this? Oh, they're stickers. They're stickers for gifts. That's what they are. Because there's, a, there's an, a portion of the hours that's friendship hour. So with the friendship hour, you'll be able to send gifts with fancy stickers from GoFest. And speaking of Venusaur, there is also now Bulbasaur with the little Pikachu visor. So we're going to be catching those as well. We didn't get away with a shiny Squirtle with the visor, but maybe we can get this one and see if we can convince Nick to do a trade. Maybe not. All right, and we stopped at home for a quick bathroom break, get some drinks, we got Powerade, and of course one of the things that I checked was Execute, and we got a shiny Execute. And I am not the only one, Nick also got a shiny Execute, probably off his incense, and we both got shiny incensed Execute. And the hour changed, everything's fleeing, except this Oddish. New spawn. <gasps> Oh Yo. Gosh. What? Durant. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. I got Durant. Zach, there's Krogunk and Dratini. <gasps> Krogunk. And I need Krogunk. Okay, Krogunk is another, another goal of mine. And if, since, um, Heatmore could be shiny, I wonder if Durant can be shiny it's as well. Be. I think it can 100%. be. One hundred percent. So everyone, They're counterparts. They're check be your Durants. Just a quick update, we haven't gotten any shinies yet, but this is actually battle hour, fighting hour. And it's not friendship hour just yet, I'm assuming that's going to be one of the hours to come. Um, but there are a ton of Gibble spawns, and then Zangoose is another one that's on the incense. And Zangoose and Gibble are both Pokemon that I would just love to get shiny. As you can see, we just got another Gibble incensed right after we caught that one. So he is out like mad. I'm gonna be checking them like mad. Hopefully I get one. Sabli. Okay, and the other reason I started this clip is because I was told that your buddies can bring you another special item different from the Pikachu visor. And Meowth has a gift for me. I'm kind of assuming that, yep, souvenir confetti. That's very, very cool. I love it because the confetti is just constantly raining down on the screen. So it's like he's picking up trash and giving it to us. It's kind of similar to the visor because uh, with these shirts you got a free yellow Pikachu visor like my avatar has on. So since my av the avatars all have the hats, it's as if people are throwing their hats on the ground and your buddies are then picking them up and bringing you trash. It's kind of funny but I also kind of like it. 
the fighting hour has been relatively slow for me. However, take a look at this. We got another new shiny, shiny Durant. I have a feeling the reason Durant's shiny was added because Heatmore shiny was also added and they are counterparts in the game. And now they're just all over the world for everybody during this go fest. And it's three star too. That's a good shiny. I love it. He's kind of brownish, more steampunky, and then he's got green eyes. It's beautiful. I love it. This is a little more exciting. Got another shiny. It's a new shiny for me. Shiny Sableye. I really, really like this shiny because he's gold and he has a little green gem in his stomach. The gold shinies are always nice to get and I love green shinies and this is kind of just a combination of the two. Another really nice shiny because normally Sableye is a rare Pokemon to find. You can find them on occasion just past midnight I want to say at night, but he's pretty pretty rare to come across. So I will absolutely take a shiny Sableye. We are now at the friendship hour and six minutes after the start we ended up with shiny female Wobbuffet. I'm honestly glad that it was a female because I think the shiny female looks nice with the the big goofy pink lips as opposed to a male one wouldn't look as interesting. I will definitely take that. That's an amazing shiny. I know that a little while ago, a couple months ago maybe, he had a spotlight hour where he could also be shiny, but his rates weren't boosted, so sadly I didn't get one then. And this is my first shiny Wobbuffet. We are coming to an end with friendship hour, and of course the last minute I clutched and got shiny Meryl. Now this has the potential to be a useful shiny because... He is PvP. He's very good for PvP. And if this is a good PvP IVs, um, a golden Azumarill would be a very, very cool PvP Pokemon to use. And as you can hear by the chimes in the background, we're hitting the next hour. Let's see. It looks like it's fire hour. So it's, it's another fire hour, which I am grateful for because I didn't catch all 20 of my Fire-type Pokemon during that hour. I was so distracted running all over the place. But now I can make up for that and I can claim that whole series of tasks. And I'm really hoping that for Water Hour, I get that shiny Squirtle because he is just adorable. I love the green shell. And of course, it'll be a Goat Fest exclusive with the Pikachu vi visor. And we incensed a Charizard. If I can click it, he's under the gym. Oh no, it despawned! The, the Charizard! Oh man, that would have been an epic... Oh, got some more stickers. Oh, that would have been an epic catch. Hopefully it couldn't have been shiny. Well, hopefully it can be shiny, but hopefully that one wasn't shiny. Another exciting shiny, something that I really, really like. Marowak. And not just Marowak, Alolan Marowak. And a Lowland Marowak, in general, is very difficult to get shiny because typically he's just in raids. And he's not an easy raid to get either. He's four star. And so far I haven't been able to duo one. He's definitely not doable sing, uh, solo. So this is just an amazing shiny to get, especially in the wild. That is bizarre, super cool. Another exciting thing, I did complete the GoFest 2020 rewards. 10 incense. The first one, Charizard, of course. Unknown, not shiny. It is a 666 unknown. I'm catching that. I'm catching a 666 unknown because that's amazing. I'm gonna gold Raz him so that he doesn't run away. Let's go ahead and claim this next one. I believe this was the catch three water type. Catch 20 water type, my apologies. And it is Blastoise. Another very good one, but kind of obvious. He was on the incenses for a good while there during the water hour. And I'm sure once water hour returns, assumingly after this fire hour, we'll get more Blastoise. Let's check the incense, nothing. So let's get the next one, which was Catch 20 Grass. Of course, Venusaur. So the next one I think was add a friend and it's Gibble. 
I like that. I will always take a Gibble. I'm gonna give him a Pineapp because he can't run. I will Ultra Ball him just to try and catch him fast. Last task here. I can't think of what this was, but it's Snorlax. We're gonna go ahead and complete the GoFest 2020 research with 10,000 Stardust, two lucky eggs, 10,000 XP. There it is on the bottom of our little special research completed. 2020 GoFest, welcome, amazing. And of course there's gonna be the one tomorrow, which we have no idea what tomorrow is gonna be. So I guess we'll just have to see. We did have a couple of recording errors there. Uh, nothing too important. I'll go over the couple of shinies I got here when I finish up, but take a look at this. This is the shiny I've been wanting. It's exclusive, it's got a hat, it's Squirtle. And this is only my second shiny Squirtle. Um, I do have one normal one without any hats or anything, so he can't evolve to be a Blastoise. However, this particular Squirtle does not evolve because he has the little Pikachu visor. Oh, and he's got the green shell. Oh my goodness, I love this one. This shiny is very exciting. This is something I've been hunting for ever since he came out. I went wild on tasks. I went wild on eggs. I couldn't get one for the life of me. But of course, here we are at GoFest, and we got one. Shiny Crow Gunk. Oh, he's so beautiful. I love the pink and that tealish green color, kind of turquoise. He's just amazing. Let's go ahead and catch him. I'm gonna do it in a great ball so we can kind of keep it relevant to his colors. He's water type, and we caught him. Caught him in a great ball. This shiny alone, makes this entire hour worth it. The last hour, the last grass hour, I didn't get any shinies, but this makes up for it. And this whole next hour, because I have been trying to get this guy forever, ever since he came out. And another shiny about a minute and a half later, this little guy, Tiny Shrek. He is an extremely hard shiny to get, in my opinion. I mean, I've never gotten one, and I have no idea how many I've checked, but it's got to be an insane amount because there's been a couple of events recently that he's been featured in, and nothing up until now, and I will gladly take it. I really like Shiny Machamp. This would be an awesome evolution. Another shiny I don't have too many of, Slackoth. Now, Slackoth did have a community day. However, his community day happened before I started playing. I think it was literally the month before I started playing. So I don't have too many of these guys. So I will gladly take another shiny Slackoth. He is a bit brighter pink than I remember. I feel like I thought he was a bit more neon and dark. Back in the same spot that we got shiny Squirtle, we found a second shiny Wobbuffet. And this Wobbuffet is actually a male. So I basically have the family completed. If only I had a shiny, why not? I'm pretty sure that he's in 7k eggs, so maybe during this last hour I'll cook some eggs and try and get a shiny, why not, so I can have this little family completed. Kind of a random shiny to get at the end. GoFest actually ended 25 minutes ago and got this random shiny Talo. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. A post GoFest shiny, no complaints. And it appears that GoFest is not quite over because I got a shiny Drowsy. That's super incredible. It's my first shiny Drowsy. And at some point before the event, I was even saying, I really want a shiny Drowsy because I like the shiny Hypno. Because of the psychic and the pink. And Hypno's got like a creepy backstory. I always like creepy Pokemon. So that's super awesome. <sighs> Back at home, finally, after a long GoFest, day one, and the first thing that we got to was our 100 trades of the day. In those 100 trades, me and my brother Nick swapped our shiny Sableyes. Uh, we both got one today, so we figured that was just a good one to swap. Mine was zero stars, wasn't any good, and it came out to be one star, so it did go up even if it was just a little bit. We also both caught so many unknown that we were able to get a lucky unknown O and a lucky unknown G. Both of the unknowns from this event we got lucky and since unknowns are so rare outside of GoFest and those kinds of things they were in eggs a good while ago maybe even a year ago. 
they're just super uncommon and they're not common at all for luckies. So those were some really cool ones to get. We've got two O's and a G. And as far as my shiny count for all of today, I ended up getting 21. Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot more than I thought the total was going to be. I thought it was going to be about 15. So six more than I even expected. And there were some technical difficulties with a couple of them. Uh, polywag, just some file corruption, so I wasn't able to, to show my clip but he is a really nice shiny to get. Uh, I think it's Polyrath is green, and I really like green shinies, of course, so that will be a really nice evolution to get at some point. We got the Machop. Again, another awesome green shiny. I can't wait to evolve that to a green Machamp. Drowsy, another one I was really hoping for because I really like the pink shiny Hypno. Shiny Alolan Marowak, another awesome addition. I love Marowak. Cubone and Alolan Marowak, that whole family. So of course I appreciate the nice shiny. We got two Magikarp. I think I was only able to show one because on the second one I had some slight technical difficulties. Chin Chow, another new shiny for me. Got two Meryl. I only showed one of them on camera because the second one wasn't that important. We got three Wobbuffet, two female and the male. I only showed one of the female on camera because Again, it was just a duplicate. Two Quillfish. That was one of the brand new shinies for this GoFest. Got the random Talo in the car afterwards when we were going to get food. Got shiny Slackoth. Shiny Krogunk, which I have been trying to get for the longest time. And I really like this particular shiny because he's more, more natural colors than the blue and the orange. He looks more like some kind of a tropical tree frog that could actually exist out in out in the wild. Durant, and he is another one of my favorite shinies I got today. I love this steampunk look to him. He looks a lot like a shiny Skarmory with the green and the kind of goldish brown. Super cool all shiny. Amazing. Another another new shiny for GoFest. And I gotta say, my top shiny of the day is the shiny Squirtle with the Pikachu hat. I think that's my favorite because he is going to be the rarest shiny afterwards, especially if this hat doesn't come back for future GoFests, or even if it is just a GoFest exclusive. He's just going to be an extremely hard shiny to find. I also missed talking about Shiny Magmar. He was the first shiny of the day. Definitely a good way to start off. Shiny Execute, a little less exciting, but still a nice addition. So what I'm going to do is evolve this shiny Magikarp. And the reason I'm going to do it is because, again, he comes out to that really nice red Gyarados. And it was caught during GoFest, and red is for Valor, so I'm going to call him Valor, a shiny Gyarados caught on GoFest. Just a, a nice trophy for my collection. I'll, I like putting him in gyms and just leaving him all over the place. He's a pretty good bragging rights Pokemon. I think Shiny Valor Gyarados is going to be the only evolution I do from these Pokemon that I got. The Squirtle is another very nice one, but he doesn't evolve, so really we only needed the one, and I think he might be one of my next best buddies. Just a really rare Pokemon, and he's going to look adorable with the best buddy ribbon. It has been an amazing day one of GoFest. I am extremely tired. I'm going to get right to editing this as soon as I possibly can. I think I will just see you guys tomorrow for day two of GoFest, which, again, I don't know really anything about. I have a small, small inkling of what it'll be about because we did get the Go Rocket box in the shop. It's got four rocket radars, so if it's rocket-related at all, I'm going to be very excited. Another ten hours of pure Pokemon goodness. Hopefully we get some more amazing shinies. Maybe we can actually get some hundos. We weren't lucky enough to get any today. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video with this cool little Easter egg that we discovered. There's fireworks going off in the background. A nice little end for an amazing GoFest. I will see you guys for GoFest Day 2.